2414 is a podcast about finding hope and common ground through casual conversation. Like the friends on the road in the New Testament, in Luke chapter 24, verse 14, we want to walk away with more understanding that leads to more conversation as the journey continues. Thanks for walking with us. Welcome to 2414. My name is Shane Welter, and I am joined by Pastor Dan, Brenda Segovia, and David LaFour. Pastor David LaFour. Wow. That's it. You got it from here. Wow. Man. That's a great intro. Okay. Shane is coming in hot. That's, that's awesome. Hi, Shane. Hi. Hey. My, that's all my energy. It's hey, downhill Dave. from here. Hey, hey Brenda. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, viewers, listeners, like, welcome. Uh, as Shane said, this is 2414. He said it with a lot more energy. Um, uh, we are recording this in the middle of Holy Week. This will be released the Saturday after Easter. And so we just want to have some fun today. There is a strange Christian tradition in some circles called uh, Holy Humor Sunday. Have you ever heard that, Pastor David? No. Oh, okay. Is Somet- that real? Yeah, sometimes it's called oh. Bright Sunday or Holy Hilarity. There's a Latin phrase, uh, Marisus Pascalis. And let, me, let me read you a little thing. Church is, there's several traditions that this is part of, but um, here's one of them. Churches in the 15th century Bavaria used to celebrate the Sunday after Easter as Rhesus Pascalis, God's joke or the Easter laugh. Priests would deliberately include amusing stories and jokes in their sermons in an attempt to make the faithful laugh attempt. That's great. Um, (laughs) After the surface, people would gather together and play practical jokes on one another and tell funny stories. It was their way of celebrating the resurrection of Christ, the supreme joke God played on Satan by raising Jesus from the dead. This is kind of like um, Mardi Gras. Like, all right, we're going into Lent. Let's get our party in out of the way. We go through 40 days. It's been pretty sober and somber. Jesus is alive. Let's celebrate. Let's have a good laugh. Yeah, and have a good laugh. Well, hmm. And so apparently it got out of control, though. So the observance of Rhesus Pascalis was officially outlawed by Pope Clement X in the 17th century. Perhaps people were having too much fun. So <laughs> Pope Clement said no it more. It got out of control. <laughs> yeah, that's a little they were having too much. It, it, <laughs> it escalated. Uh, so today on, on the podcast, uh, we, we don't have a hard-hitting topic. We don't have any guests, just a couple of regular friends of the show, and we're going to have some fun. So we're going to do a lightning round of highs and lows, and then we're going to play a modified version of Wits and Wagers, which is just a silly board game. Uh, we're going to ad- adopt it for radio slash podcast slash YouTube, so those of you at home on your car and on your run, um, sitting at the veterinarian's office, wherever you are, you can play along from right where you are. So Shane, let me kick us off uh, lightning round highs and lows. How are you? Good. David. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) More to say. (laughs) Fine. All right. Hi. Haircut. Been wanting that for a while. I finally did it. It's hard work schedule and stuff. Um, low. I, uh, I hit my ankle, I guess, while moving some weights the other day. That hurt. Okay. That's not bad. That's there good. Go. All right. Great. That's good. David, <laughs> lows, highs. Uh, low. I'm still still feeling low energy from whatever I had. Ew. I don't know. The Got candy corn on the center of the table is communal. Help yourself. <laughs> it is. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, hi, my 1983 Ford's working again and running, so that's uh, I'm hoping to bring it back up to... Washington. I was down in Oregon taking a look at it last weekend. So, did you just happen. abandon it in your previous church parking lot, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah a little okay. bit. You had another car. Yeah, no, I, I do. An old truck it was my grandfather's truck, okay. and uh, it, it was not in condition to move up here, and I didn't have a place to move it. And um, one of my elders of Trinity offered, like, "Oh, I'll stick it around here. I'll work on it for a little while," and it's working. I came down there and drives, so it's great. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. cool. Right. Brenda, Ooh, nice. low, hi. Yeah, um, I would say high is I've been getting really good sleep this week. I've been sleeping really mm. hard because I think I'm just so tired by the end of the day. So sleeping great and low is just the the craziness of this week. Every day there's more and more added to my list that I didn't realize I had to do this week. So, yeah, that's fair. Uh, my mm. low is cold. I'm, I it's mm. We're in mid-April. I just the sun is there sometimes, but it's. 40 degrees. It's just, I'm ready for some spring. Uh, hi, the trillium is blooming. Mm. Um, trillium mm. is a kind of a, is, it, is that a native Northwest plant? I've never I seen them elsewhere. I don't we know. Can, I think it is. We out. can pretend it's native. Okay. It's this. There th- are types of trillium. Yeah. It's this three leaved. 
beautiful white flower that's really fragile and doesn't transplant well. So you, you see it and you appreciate it and oh. it's just, and it's gone quickly. Like it's there, it's beautiful and then it's gone. So I'm right su- now it's there. Surprised it's alive in this weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the, not too cold. It, I see in the Dash Point State Park, we have a little bit in our, our yard that's just sprouting. So it's just kind of peeking up through the dirt. Mm. Cherry blossoms have been great too. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I was also today, uh, it was this week I found out Cherry blossoms don't all uh, produce cherries. Yeah. I did not know that. I thought all cherry blossoms made cherries. That, that just makes sense as to the name. I thought that's I why. Thought it was just the flowers. Do they actually produce cherries? I have no idea anymore. Oh. I don't know. I thought it was just the like you know, like DC has a bunch of cherry blossoms. Yeah, like not making. I cherries. thought like they all made cherries, oh. and everyone like got cherries from them. No. Nope. <laughs> no. No, that is not the, That's, I guess. Okay, well. So sad. Turns out uh, we're going to relabel our podcast as educational. Um, <laughs> thank you, Shane, for Might bringing be all right. Our, I don't even remember. <laughs> no, it is not educational. Do if we it is. a botanist in the church? Bring him on. I want to hear. Who? We need a botanist. Do we uh, got a botanist in the church? We've got we, uh, we've master got gardeners, horticulture, yeah, amateur horticulture. Yeah, that would work. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll schedule that. Uh, <laughs> Done. So, you know who you are. Uh, email us at 2414 at com. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a modified version of Wits and Wagers. How it will work is I will read a question, um, something of a trivia question that there's a possibility. You maybe know the answer, but realistically, it's it's something of an outlandish question that there's there's no reason you should know the answer. The one exception I've, I've come across in this game is there was one question that had something about how many books are in the like, Christian Bible. And oh. so, you know, I wrote down my guess and everybody in my family is like, we're just going to go with what Dan said. <laughs> um, so mm. that was the only time I, I felt pretty confident. Usually they're a bit obscure. So we are going to all four of us and you listening at home or wherever you are, you can have a number in your head or if you want to write it down, that's okay. We will then arrange them from, from lowest to highest and we'll, we'll have some commentary on who we think is the correct guess without going over. So standard price is right rules. So yep. if you think we all overbid, you can kind of bid one dollar at home. Um, mm. So yeah, we're gonna have a question. Um, the four of us at the table are gonna write down our answers uh, without showing each other, and then when we've written them down, uh, which we'll designate by flipping it over like that, we will show them to the camera. Shane wants us to do that. We're gonna show them to the camera for those yeah. of you watching on YouTube. Well, yeah, and then we will uh, splay them out across the table and see who we we'll, think. We'll is. also have to say announce our answers. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll make it uh, sure. Well, well, you you at home will know um, just how wise or ignorant um, <laughs> oh, these four people <laughs> with microphones are as it relates to various facts, <laughs> and uh, and we're just going to see how it goes. There's no prizes. Are are we playing any th- like first to four? We'll just play until we're done. Uh, let's yeah, seven I, rounds. What do you want to do here? Shane? Unless it takes too long, we could uh, we can say like either first to four or five. First All to four, four or five. All right. I guess that depends on we'll who see. gets first to four. If we're going to we're first to four. And if it's taken way too long, then when we can. All right. All right. Here we go. First question. Um, uh, this is for, again, the, the four of us here, but you listening at home. What is the average number of wedding guests at a U.S. wedding? Oh, man. And by the way, I don't have any sources for any of this stuff. It's from the game, What's in Wager. So if you want to dispute it, don't take it out on me. What is the average? And by the way, I think this came up before COVID. Um, it, it should there should be a date I think it just um, says brides next to it oh, oh. T- 2021 I guess this one was published mm. but, um, so what is the average number of guests at a U.S. wedding <sighs> so uh, all right so are you putting it down you're, first you're or showing down? the I g- camera I can't I, even remember the exact number at my wedding like oh gosh yeah like, what is the average number of I'm still guests planning one tonight at a one. U.S. wedding <laughs> <laughs> no concept does feel like, yeah what's what's the what's the number. <laughs> All right, I, uh, way too. I have my number. I have mine. Brenda and Dan have theirs. Shane yep. has his. David, Set. you have yours. Yep. Okay, we'll start with David this time. Hold up to the camera. Tell us what you got. I guess seventy-five. Uh, David comes in with seventy-five. Brenda says one hundred. One hundred. I wrote one hundred seventy-five. <laughs> what? <laughs> let me let me split and, this difference. One thirty-five. Shane says yeah. one thirty-five. Okay. okay. This is very rounded. So the wow. range from one seventy-five from me. 135 with Shane, Brenda with 100, and uh, Pastor David LaFour with 75. So you playing along at home, um, is did 75 overbid it? 
is it beyond 175 or is it somewhere between 75 and 100 between 100 and 135 135 175 so you can pick based on logic or allegiance to your favorite person at the table <laughs> um, <laughs> all answers are final the correct answer is what is the average number of guests at a u.s wedding the average wedding what the, oh, I'm sorry. I read the answer like a fact. It says the average wedding costs forty four thousand dollars or sixty five thousand a year for your New York City. Like wow. that, that wasn't the question. The correct answer. Oh, one hundred sixty seven. What? Let's oh. go. Wow. All That's right. so hard. <laughs> All right, Shane got the first one. So the uh, oh. average number of wedding guests at a U.S. wedding is one sixty seven. I overbid by eight. My confidence. Mm is shattered because <laughs> I was so swinging. confident that I was like maybe too high. <laughs> but oh, did you have 75? <laughs> yeah. Do you, David, do you know 167 people? Oh yeah. I know a lot of people. Right. It's become a problem. <laughs> you sure For the you wedding. Give me a Sharpie. <laughs> For the wedding. This is, I know. this is hard. <laughs> well, I, I, these are the, the, the official markers that came with the kit and the official boards that came Let with the kit. get a little water on this. I'm, I, I said dry erase. That's, that's part of the thing. Hundreds it's of a, wet This is like now. with vigorous rubbing. Like <laughs> Wow. Right. Okay. I feel like this is not taking into account all the courthouse weddings are like three people. That has to bring the average down. Uh, what did you do this is us? according to brides, which I'm assuming is some yeah. ma magazine. I just want another citation. You Bri gave brides. me a Sharpie. I'm convinced. This is all right. That's just your answer for the rest all of the right. game. All right. Shane is commit locked in 135. to 135. Is there, the is there an extra you want marker? marker? Oh, oh, gosh. Here you go. Take one of these. You got to write over it sometimes. You don't have the same marker that we have? I don't know. This <laughs> sabotage. It's, I've been sabotaged. Right, we're, we're, you know, we're, this is live. We're not editing this out later, so we're oh, going. No, we're no, going no, forward, no. Shane. Just we're keep, not, uh, keep, we're keep not moving. I'll it. keep All rubbing right. this. Question number two. Use some spit. I, I put water on it. Oof. What's put question water? number two? Right, question, question number two. two. <laughs> Ooh. How many pipes comprise the world's largest pipe organ? Oh. How many pipes? Oh, I've heard this before. <laughs> but Composed the world's largest pipe organ. <laughs> I don't even I'm know. Trying like, to picture this. It's it's a number. <laughs> I don't even know like what magnitude of number I'm working with here. Is this like tens, hundreds, thousands? I, <laughs> That's for you to to commit to your little pink uh, whiteboard over there, and then we will judge you. How many pipes comprise the world's largest pipe organ? All right. <laughs> Got my guess locked in. All right. I am writing my number. Brenda was the first one locked in. That should Means count as something. Nothing. So we should give you like a partial credit if you're the first one to commit. Ooh. So we're gonna we're gonna give Brenda I don't I don't know who is the first one, but if like there's a tie break situation, Brenda's oh, got like point, that. point one. Especially if the point, viewers point are betting one. on somebody. <laughs> Winner right now. <laughs> All right, Shane, are you locked in? I'm locked in. David? Yep. Brenda? Mm -hmm. All right, Brenda, why don't you go first since you were the first one? Okay, I said 163. 163. I, I yep. said, uh, <laughs> I wrote 3,000. Oh. I wrote 32,000. Okay, I wrote oh. 600. Wow. So we uh, are. Okay, Ooh. so at the upper at the upper limit, we have Shane coming in at 32,000, <laughs> followed by my guess of 3,000. <laughs> Followed by David's guess of 600. Um, coming in uh, last is Most Brenda. musical at the table. Uh, 163. Mm -hmm. There are some big ranges in there, some yeah. big gaps. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so the, the question here is which one of these guesses is the closest to the number of pipes that comprise the world's largest pipe organ without going over? David, what do you mm. think? Without going over, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be confident. I'm gonna pick my number then. Six, you're sticking with yourself. All right, yeah. believe in yourself, yeah. Brenda. What do you think? Looking at the spread, I'm gonna there. go with the 600 because, yeah, mine is just so low, so that would mean something. <laughs> <laughs> it's too Shane, low. what do you think? I gotta, see, see I, I gotta spread? be generous. I gotta say yours, three thousand. Three thousand. I bet I went, went over, but I'm still, I still, I, I can. I believe in myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go three thousand. Pure All statistics right. alone, yours would. Here it is. I think would make sense. Whoa, thirty-four thousand six hundred. <laughs> the crowd's going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shane. Uh, you know.
or, uh, or being beat out by the music director. It's, so it's shortest pipe, whatever that means, is about two inches, while the longest is 65 feet. I guess I don't understand how a pipe organ works. That was probably like <laughs> part of the issue. It's not one pipe per note. It was like 600 notes is a lot. There's <laughs> Shane, yes, can you give us some... What's the relationship between notes and pipes? Paper well, it, de- it depends, on your, depends on your organ, but an organ uh, is basically a, an all-in-one musical instrument. So the same note can have multiple different, like, embouchures and, like... Uh, it's not a word. Tim- timbers to it. So, like, there could be the flute sound for that same note. There could be a trumpet sound. There could be... That's, those are the stops that you're pulling the stops. and pushing? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. This thing is th- 34,600. All right. Scoring update. Dan, zero. Brenda, point one. David, zero. Shane, two. Commanding lead. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's play to ten. Let's play to ten. I like it. All right. I don't... And at this point, whether people have continued listening or not, we're, we're having a good time. So if, if you're uh, waiting in line at Starbucks, I, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Um, uh, you can comment below if, if you what your score would be right now uh, based on either guessing ours or your own guesses. 600. Right. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> well, I, 163. Yeah, yeah, I wrote a paper on organs, so in seminary. That's and bad. Clear- <laughs> It was about, like, the history of them, though, not about, like, how many pipes they got. All right, question number three. three. Something else, man. (laughs) Um, I'll ask Brenda. Brenda, blue or pink? There's two questions per card. Blue. Okay. How many people... Oh, by the way, before I finish reading it, you got to make some sort of sound or gesture if you're the first one once you've you've written your answer, because I can't Mm. see while I'm writing myself. More obnoxious, the better. All right. All right. How many people attended... History's largest free rock concert. I gotta read it again. How many people attended history's largest free rock concert? Okay, Brenda has <laughs> swirled her arms in the air <laughs> like she just don't care. This is her strategy. Just throw out numbers and <laughs> eventually I've gotta get one of them right. Oh, I did not ration my space on the card very well. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all bets are final. Brenda, you were the, I'll give you your, your point uh, one credit since you were the first That's one. That's how I'm going to win. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. Well, <laughs> it's not. My guess is 10,000. Okay. Uh, we are a different world. <laughs> Pastor, oh, no. Pastor David, what's your guess? <laughs> one million. <laughs> Oh. Shane, three hundred thousand, and I went with two hundred and ten thousand. I thought this was a high number. <laughs> <laughs> so pipe oh, organs oh. and concert goers. <laughs> All right, so um, music related. I like uh, it. Coming in at the low end, we have ten thousand people attended the world's largest free rock concert, followed by uh, that was Brenda with ten thousand, Dan with two hundred and ten thousand, Shane at three hundred thousand, and David at one million people. Oh. <laughs> he seems real confident. Uh, I can. All right, Shane, I since you're 2-0 and o here, why don't you uh, tell us first, looking at the numbers now, what do you think? 10,000, 210,000, 300,000, 1 million. The best like, statistic, like between 300,000 and 1 million, yeah. like, that's a good margin. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a million. I, I could, like... There's Is this at a venue? Is this... I think it's like, is it on the radio and that counts? I don't think that counts. You gotta, you gotta be I, I know there's been some crazy big... Yeah, events like I don't know. I it's free. You know what people yeah. do for free things? Yeah. People are. I know there was like some giant Metallica concert in the USSR after the fall of the Soviet Union, and like, <laughs> that itself drew I think like four hundred thousand people. And I don't know if that so was that free. goes well for Shane. I bet it was mm-hmm. just like four hundred thousand is even if it wasn't free. Mind, people, but I, yeah, okay, I don't know. I'm trying to picture a venue that holds it was like a outdoors. quarter million people. Even still, like what the the sound system, the space, the number of porta potties. Oh yeah, have you? Disaster. I mean, think for about a million people. Think outside? about like a co- oh. Coachella. Like it's not like a vet. Like there's just people keep going back and back, further, further. Like just open, open grass. Yeah, just like area. open. All right, so Brenda, seeing the spread. If you were if you were placing your wager as the game has actually played, I'm gonna go three hundred thousand. So do we get the point if so? Not on mine, but the one that I bet on. Is that how I get? Oh, I don't get a point. It's just pride, point. like oh, guys. Okay. Just, <laughs> it's just right, saving well, face at 300, this point. Three hundred thousand. All right, I'm sticking to a million. I know there's an event that's had at least five hundred thousand. Goodness 500, gracious! 
The correct answer, Pastor David wins. <gasps> 4.2 million oh people. Gosh. Yeah. What is this? Rod, what is this? Rod Stewart. Uh, 1993, New Year's Eve, uh, Copacabana Beach. Copacabana Beach. So apparently hmm. there was a beach party in 1993 with Rod Stewart. Bring over some little more. Bigger question. Was, the, was the concert like no. facing towards the beach or away from, like, were they in the water? I, like, I don't think they just were waiting, treading like, water. <laughs> Tide came in and probably wiped out 100,000 people. Four, <laughs> four point a two, four point two million people. Mm. All right. That's, I un- knew it was a, I can't, like, fathom number. what that would look like. <laughs> Scoring update. I have zero. Brenda has point two. David has one. Shane has two. I'm going to keep throwing these markers and just, as I, well, I, where are you throwing? I need those back. Well, they're just right. in the corner. Just put a little elbow grease into it, Shane. I, I've Use your nail. I was. Like, oh. that's, that's what I was. And like, All right. Um, this has been humbling. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Question number three. <laughs> four. Question number four. For those of you picking uh, David, pink or blue? Uh, blue. Okay. Shane, are you ready over there? Are you One way or another. Well, okay. My guess might be 300,000. How many ridges... Are on the edge of a U.S. quarter. How many ridges are on the edge of a U.S. quarter? All you coin buffs out there, this is for you. I'm trying I to feel imagine like you a know quarter this. in my I, hand and like touching every ridge. I got mine in yeah. first. All right. I feel like David, Pastor David, you would know this. This seems for like some the kind like of thing you do. I don't yeah. actually. You do a lot of fiddling with change. I do. I do a lot of fiddling with change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on the board with point one, y'all. Oh man. Brenda is uh, got her answer locked in. Mm-hmm. Chain, David. All right, uh, I was first. All I right. said ninety-eight. Uh, now Ooh. that seems a little bit high as I say it aloud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, said, <laughs> I said ninety-eight. Chain. Coming in strong. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. David. Okay, I said fifty. Fifty. One hundred. Brenda was one hundred. Okay, okay, so mine's not close. gonna be it. <laughs> The, the margins aren't 10. <laughs> oh, zero it, could nine or, huh? it could be either I got it exactly yeah, no. or was one I'm under. Feeling mine is way <laughs> too low. The, the margins aren't 10,000 to 1 million now, yeah. so this is much closer. I mean, it's a, yes, we've is. all seen quarters. <laughs> it's true. Speak for small. yourself. <laughs> so um, we have uh, the question is how many ridges are on the edge of a U.S. quarter? Uh, D- Pastor David says 50. I said 98. Brenda Price had righted me at 100, <laughs> and then Shane uh, swinging for the fences, 125. Mm-hmm. Brenda, what do you think? I'm going to stick with myself. Okay, yes. believe in yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, David? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna go down to 98 actually. So wow, Just, whoa. Mm. that is the, the worst bet you can make. Well, no, because it's it, it, it goes over right. <clears throat> so you price is right at her, not the other way around. Oh, without going over. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, <laughs> take that, Segovia. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. 98's a great answer. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm going with, I believe in myself. Shane, <laughs> thank you, David, <laughs> for your confidence <laughs> and clarification I, of the rules. I'd say, Bre- I'd say Brenda on this. Thank you. Yeah. Brenda at 100? Yeah, yeah 100 or, or 99. So it has to be, you're choosing two numbers. Oh. Oh no! Right. You know, wait. What if I mean, it, is it could be a hundred? Let's no, say it yeah. could be a hundred between one one hundred and one twenty four. Brenda would be correct. Hundred's such oh, a whole yeah. number. That's true. Yeah, great. Um, no, you're a- wrong, David. Because my mine doesn't work. Look, I don't know how right. the rules work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get. What is the answer? <laughs> What's the answer? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> all right. So, um, for those of you listening at home, all four of you still with us, lock in your answers. How many ridges are on the U.S. quarter? 50, 98, 100, 125. Did we all overbid? And then this person would be the winner. Oh. The guest. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Correct answer 119. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Brenda, she gasped. Um, there yes. are. 118 on a dime, 150 wow. on a half dollar, and there are 119 ridges on a U.S. quarter. And so Brenda at 100, so 100 is, was the closest without <laughs> going over. Is is there any significance? Like no, there can't be. That's, that's why I picked 50. I was like, well, but I mean, we've had quarters before. We've had 50 states, <laughs> but maybe the be, ridges changed. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Maybe the ridges changed. I don't know. I, I'm sure. I would imagine it's just a, a manufacturing. That's just how the math works. That's what the machine had arbitrarily one day. 
So okay, Brenda scoring took, update. Took the cake. Uh, I'm on the board with point one. Uh, Pastor David has one. Brenda has one point two, <laughs> and Shane has two point oh. Because Ooh. we didn't we didn't declare a winner on the first You're round. On the board of point one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just wrote down the number that you weren't even happy with. <laughs> yeah, I was so close. Immediately unhappy with your number. <laughs> and then I was two off. If Brenda had said ninety seven, I would have been correct. But she said a hundred. Yes, I did. And stole my glory. All right. <laughs> Shane, pink or blue? Uh, pink. All right. Uh, are you ready? <laughs> You're still. You know, I'm I'm double. I'm multitasking here. This so yes. Yes. Okay. I I did not account for Shane's struggle this is, this to erase is, like, the white vigorous board. work. I can't get it. I, any I don't understand why this. no one else has this. I don't either. I, this is my third marker. Like, <laughs> it's not the marker. Maybe it's the <laughs> marker. Maybe I'm just with the force of Atlas just. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure using that reference right either. I'm not. I'm All not. Right. But just roll with it. <laughs> All right. The question is, which uh, character did Atlas play in Greek mythology? No. All um, right. Um, real question. How many weeks did Macarena spend at number one <laughs> on the Billboard Hot 100? <laughs> no, 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 no. On the Hot Macarena. 100. <laughs> um, how many? So Brenda's going to demonstrate in just a moment. How many weeks did Macarena spend at number one? On the Billboard Hot 100. There's no way that my guess is right, but I got it in. How many wait, weeks? Uh, too slow. Point, <laughs> <laughs> too slow. Yeah. yeah, I got my other point one there. I'm climbing. <laughs> weeks. How? <laughs> ma- I like my answer. How many Just weeks did funny. Macarena spend at number one on the Billboard Hot 100? <laughs> So uh, this seems to imply it made it to number one and it spent some time there, but maybe it didn't. It could be zero. I'm writing small. Could be one. So I can like. It could still be there. We it might we might be to be determined. Could be the answer. Oh. Do you have your answer? That be crazy. Do you? Okay, so we've all got it. Okay, I uh, quick draw came in with nineteen. I am swinging 60. Six, over a so year. I went fifty-two. The year of the Macarena. The year of the Macarena. <laughs> I went with forty. Okay, so um, how many weeks did Macarena... Does anybody know who, who wrote that or performed that? No. I don't remember. Hey, the Macarena, Macarena. guys. Mm-hmm. Yep, Shane's there. Mm-hmm. David's doing it. That's it. That was... That what was. year is that from? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, all right, we'll see. So how we'll the see. question is, maybe it'll tell us not. How many weeks did Macarena, Macarena spend at number one on the Billboard Hot 100? So uh, at the table here, I came in with the low bid at 19, followed by Brenda at 40, uh, Pastor David at 52, uh, Shane at 60. Number of weeks, mm. at num- not just on the thing, but number one um, in like, the wait, nation. It was number one? I thought it said just in the top 100. How many weeks did Macarena spend at number one? Well, now you're making oh, my guess feel worse. Oh, locked in. Locked in. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so she That's why I thought my guess was ridiculous. <laughs> she <laughs> thought it was the number one song in the country just... <laughs> for 60 straight weeks. The, cu- you know, the U.S. Guess, could not second. get enough of the Macarena. You should have been there. It, it, was, yeah, it was a time. Those were the glory days of music. Okay. <laughs> oh, so close. The correct answer is 14. Wow, oh. none of us got it. So, uh, I mean, we can... So, oh. Yeah, no, none of us get it. I was the closest. I mean, if, do I get half a credit for that? No. no. Right. Uh, Shane's answer was the funniest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's give me five points. Uh, <laughs> Over a year of dominance. <laughs> um, so the, the fun fact here, some radio stations played it on a 24-hour loop for weeks. And then it says, hey, Macarena. <laughs> That's what it says on the card. Okay. Um, 14. 14 straight weeks. Well, so no, no credit for anybody there? Gosh. I, I mean, I think if we're I, playing by your own rules. No, you're right. I, rules I are rules. I could give you a point oh five for that. I'll take it. <laughs> all right. So those of you playing <laughs> at home, if you if you if you guessed that we all overbid, then you would be correct. It, so you're still trying to get up to one point there, huh? <laughs> Scoring updates. Uh, <laughs> salting is wound. I am climbing up with point two five. Um, Brenda has. Or, uh, David has one. Brenda has one point two. And Shane is 2.0. All right. Love here we it. go. Right. Uh, question next one. Four, four, five, six or so. Uh, David, pink or blue? Uh, pink. 
All right. On average, how many tail feathers does a peacock have? On average, how many tail feathers does a peacock have? Hmm. Your standard yeah. domestic. <laughs> First one. Okay, Brenda gets point one. Yeah, one of my church members uh, at uh, Trinity had like, he bought like a peacock pair. Uh-huh. In like the 1970s, he just let him loose. He had like 50 peacocks on his property. You drive up there and the peacocks would yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, don't mind them. I also got cats that keep the peacock population <laughs> in check. <laughs> it's like, are they a pet? Or are they Is just this a like- thing? <laughs> I love that peacocks in my head are just zoo decorations. They are just they just wander around. Every zoo I've ever been to is just peacocks. They're not contained in a... No, yeah. they're just want, they're just yeah. free creatures. And then Northeast Tacoma had a peacock a couple years ago, and then I oh. think the coyotes got it. Uh-huh. I have not seen the stray peacock. I didn't see a wild peacock until I, California. On average, how? I heard some wild peacocks? Do people eat peacocks? Sure. We can't? I mean, and you can sure. eat anything. It's, a, it's like a chicken. It's a bird. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I need to write down an answer. On average, <laughs> I'm giving our nope. listeners time to guess. Says zero. On average, how many tail feathers does a peacock have? I... I'm going to guess now that the average peacock. All right. I'm in. Uh, Brenda, you were first. Why don't you kick off the, the bidding? Yes. My guess was 32. <laughs> okay. well, this is going to be another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What did you guys guess? Uh, I guess 280. 280. Oh. Uh, Shane? I, uh, 112. Oh, man. All right. 127. Oh. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. None of us have any idea. So, um, also, if interesting note, Brenda and David are using their whiteboards in profile, and Shane and I are doing ours in landscape. <laughs> interesting. Um, so, I, I'm not sure what that says not about us. Not vertical or horizontal. I mean, <laughs> like a picture. <laughs> hot dog and hamburger. Those are <laughs> that's how people describe their baby genders at times, but that's weird. If you, if you look at the back of the card, it's clearly supposed to be used. In profile. Probably so. Hmm. At profile. Yep. Okay. So um, <laughs> the question is, how many feather, tail feathers, excuse me, how many tail feathers does a peacock have? Um, so as you listen at home, you can decide if we all overbid um, or who who's closest without going over. So Brenda came in lowballing at 32 tail feathers. I'm going to stick with 32. <laughs> you <laughs> she, never know. She believes in herself. <laughs> uh, Shane, 112. How are you feeling? Mm, no. <laughs> too high, too low? Too way too low. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. I said 127. Uh, I feel good with that. David? I'm sticking with 280. 280. Those things have big tails. So Okay. I don't know how many feathers they have, but it's, <laughs> it's probably more than you think. <laughs> it's got to be more. It's, it's going to be like... I'm not sure yeah, if it's going to be more than you think. It's going to be a thousand <laughs> or something. <gasps> 150. No. Yes. Wow. I'm on the board. I mean, I'm like legitimately on the board after right. Pastor David's ridicules. All right. <laughs> um, 150. Without their trademark eye spot feathers, the males have no luck with the females. So if you don't have eye spots, like that's where it's at. You can eye have spots. all the pretty flowers and colors of the rainbow, but without the eye spots, it says the males are having no luck with the females. Okay. So, story is old as time. <laughs> it's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> you got a story about that for us, Dave? <laughs> no, no <Okay>. not quite. <laughs> All right, scoring update. Um, uh, Pastor David in last place with one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coming in at third, uh, me at 1.125. One oh, uh, yeah, Brenda, 1.3 has Fairly. edged me out a little bit. And then Shane... Mm. He started off so f- a commanding lead, two and zero, oh, and you haven't scored since then. I'm not get feeling like it's slipping away. No, no, just uh, just uh, letting y'all catch up. Okay, <laughs> it's very kind of you. All right, question number next one. Uh, Brenda, pink or blue? Uh, blue. What percentage? What percent of Americans think they're smarter than the average American? What? Percent of Americans, so writing out a percent here. Okay, Brenda's got her acts are locked in. Well, I'm at a serious disadvantage reading the question while you guys are writing them down, but I still got to. Uh, what percent of Americans think they're smarter than the average American? All right, so uh, we're locking on our answers here. At home, you can think to yourself. Um, you could you could sample your family or your friend pool. How many of them are think they're smarter than the average American? Mm. 
the next round we can we can alternate who reads the question. That's fair. Yeah. Give, give you a chance I don't, I don't, to, to catch up. I'm not trying to complain. I'm doing just fine. I'm not <laughs> last anymore. Or am I the last one? All right. Great. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> um, Brenda, you were the first one in. So you said? My guess is 68%. So what percent of Americans think they're smarter than the average American? Brenda thinks 68%. David came with? It went 90. 90. Oh. 90% of Americans think they're smarter than the average American. Uh, Shane? 85%. 85 and I, I lowballed it at 43 here. I, I brought little humility to the table, apparently. Oh, I have no faith. I, well, I don't know how to like phrase. I, I think, I think most most Americans people think they're smarter than most people. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's true. But that's also, 90 is really high. Without it's, going over, <laughs> it's no. not a positive view on. Do you, how, do you think Americans are that humble? Like, but who's going to answer like that? Not. Yeah, like who? So I don't think it's as low as I put, but I don't think it's as high as Brenda put. So mm. I'm playing the game here, not not just going for mm. accuracy, but I'm working the game. So you're just giving up your strategy. Well, my, all right. My I, initial okay. thought was 75. I decided now let's. Okay, so listening at home, uh, what percent of Americans think they're smarter than the average American? Uh, is it less than 43? Um, between 43 and 68. Between 68 and 85. Between eighty-five and ninety, or is it over ninety? Shane, how are you feeling? I still feel good. Okay, I feel you at eighty-five percent. It's somewhat decent margin. All right, Could be worse. Correct answer is sixty-five percent. Wow. <gasps> oh, no, yes, I was so close. All right, only I was the closest. So it says sixty-five percent think they're smarter than the average American. Now, only 4% think they're less intelligent than the average American. So 65 plus 4 is 69. So 31% think, think they're average. Think I am, I am average Joe. I, I was so I, close. I guess I was thinking about it more from I, that other perspective. Like, who would say that they're dumber than the average I, American? It's like, no, I, no one's really Only 4%. Ba- well, based off that metric, I thought the, like, the guesses were low. Like, you're either <clears throat> like dumber or smarter. There's no, like... I think I'm average. If I knew that was an option, I mean, that could have made a difference. Where's that? Where's that? Nope. <laughs> no, we'll right. go with that one. All right. We'll go with that one. Oh, gosh. That's intense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what are Scary we play- round. We're playing first to four. We're never going to get there. That's fine. All right. David is at one. Brenda's at 1.3. I'm at 2.25. Shane, I'm in the first place. And Shane's at two. Ooh, How did we let this happen, guys? Yeah, t- yeah, because we started letting all these part points happen. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Now I wish we had said like closest gets a point because I would have gotten points that last round. Without going over. All right. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Uh, David, pink or... No, you asked last time? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Brenda, pink or blue? Pink. Okay. <laughs> it's just Brenda's doing everything. I have, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> in miles per hour, what oh. is the fastest recorded speed of a bird in flight? In miles per hour, <laughs> I, what is the fastest... I know I've known this multiple times in my life, but I don't know if I can remember now. In miles per hour, what is the fastest recorded speed... Of a bird in flight. Hmm. It's going to be faster than I think, <laughs> but then I'm going to pick a way high number. <laughs> I got mine in. Bam. These, these, these partial credits are adding up. I'm not going to lie. Without so, going over. Without going yeah. over. What? Okay. In, in miles per hour. We're, we're not doing kilometers here yep. before. In miles Done. per hour, what is the fastest recorded speed of a bird in flight? I, I feel I, good. I came in fast <gasps> with my guess, and I guessed fast. One fifteen. One fifteen. Oh, Shane wow. and I you both. Guys I guessed fast. This I, is going to be embarrassing. Oh. Two forty. <laughs> <laughs> it's diving. Y'all are thinking that's, it's really that's, fast, bird. Uh, that's yeah, a that's, diving bird. <laughs> that's what it, it's. Oh, diving. Fifty miles an hour. <laughs> It is. It is diving. I can't remember what it, it's like. The osprey or like it's a, the peregrine falcon. It, yes, it's the really peregrine falcon. falcon. Yes. I, don't know if it's I was picturing like driving above a car. I'm like, no, the car would still be faster. So fifty. Anyway, let's get on oh, with if it. If we, if we, if we all go over, it, that's it's all right. yours. That's right. 
<laughs> I'm thinking like above a car. Like, no, the car would still yeah, drive it. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Dan, are you dying driving. from <laughs> the 240 or the 50? I love the back to back of 240 and 50. <laughs> they both seem obscene to me. Wait, how fast do you have to go to break the sound barrier? Way faster. Okay. All right. It's like All right. right. Something else for hour. Okay. For a second, that Mach thought hit one. my mind. I was like, has a bird ever broken? You hear sound? sonic boom. Has a bird ever broken? <laughs> for a second. With every flap. Would it wings? die? At that point, it would probably. If you die. throw a bird past like the sound oh. barrier, would it live? Throw the bird Listen. like a football. Just saying, like if you launched a bird, like. Listen, nature's amazing. So, uh, <laughs> is Mach one the sound barrier? Uh, just adding more educational here. All right. Now I think mine's too slow. I'm gonna guess one fifteen. Who wins? Who wins? If we, we each get one. Oh. Like half? No. If this was the regular game, you each get the pot. That's I'm sticking true. with 240. All right. So all right. Um, for those of you listening at home, if you're, all, both of you, um, the question is, in miles per hour, what is the fastest recorded speed of a bird in flight? Is it 50 miles per hour? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. Or 115 or 115. I'm reading them for you. Or 240. <laughs> yeah. At least somebody yeah. here like, takes this game seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. In miles per hour, how fast? Those falcons capture other birds by diving on the mid-flight 242 miles per hour. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow, that's kind of scary. Wow. That was very accurate. <laughs> you. <laughs> Who you. is he? How does he know these things? International man of mystery. <laughs> wow. You nailed it. Wow. wow. I've watched impressive. a lot about peregrine falcons in my day. So. Oh. That's wow! Impressive. Man, I th that that's two hundred forty-two like, okay. animal facts that just come up randomly all the time. Like when I read zoo books, do you remember those? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> zoo books. Yeah. Oh my mm. goodness, uh, uh, David. I'm sorry. I laughed <laughs> at your guess, and um, I'm I'm also thankful that Greta's in your life going forward. <laughs> <laughs> you why? Because I won't know so many facts about birds. So I didn't know anything about peacock feathers. So. So my, my tissue is like turning into dust. I don't it's shaving. Everyone else is. I'm rubbing it so hard, and it's barely getting like, some, like every, anything off. I don't understand. Oh Maybe my god! You're bored. All it's right. it's got to be. How was your technique? Mm. You you put something on this. That I, did. I did not. You picked the color. <laughs> That's true. You, All right. Whatever. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, round the next one. something. Scoring update. By the way, David at two. Still, uh, no, Brenda's in last place yes. with 1.3. David with two, followed by me at 2.235, and Shane at two. Mm -hmm. I said not in the right order. Whatever. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> the Appalachian Trail runs from Georgia to Maine. In miles, how long is it? The Appalachian Trail runs from Georgia to Maine. In miles, how long is it? Shane locked his answer in first. Well, I got to catch up to you apparently now. This is embarrassing oh. because I just looked up this fact like three days ago. Why? I have a friend <laughs> who's doing it. Oh. And I do not remember the number. I remember what it's under. But. Hmm. Okay. Let me write you know what it's under. I. So I feel I'm, like I'm, I'm picking a number that's intentionally too low because I don't want to overshoot it. But. I feel like I could guess an yeah. infinite amount of numbers that it's under. Okay, Shane, you were first. In miles, how long is the Appalachian Trail, which Solid runs from Georgia to Maine? 1,600? 1,600 miles. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, 1,100. Ooh. 733. I said 1,218. Oh. So the, mm. the range here is 733 miles, 1,000... 100 miles, 1,218 miles, still in landscape. It's about not going over, right? And yeah, right. yeah, closest without going over. And then David came in at 1,600. Oh, no, that was. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Shane. I'm, I'm draw. really curious. Why did uh, Brenda and Dan, why did you guys go like very specific numbers on this? 733 and 1,218. I was just playing the game. I if no, you no go thought. one over, that. I think yeah. I doubt it's a round number. Well, no. I doubt too, but I think it's just risky. I think Pastor Dan's right, but I didn't want to guess that high because I didn't want to go over. Yeah, that it seems too high to me. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna guess Brenda of these. I know it's over a thousand. Okay, 
I'm sticking with mine. He says very confidently. <laughs> Shane, right. where, where, where are you landing? I, I'll, if you were I'll a stick, betting man. I'll stick with mine. Okay. Might be outland, outlandish, but... This is sort of like our that question of how what percentage of Americans think they're smarter than the average one. Like, how many times have we all, like, I bet I'm right. <laughs> As opposed to, like, you know what? Well, Maybe I'm not right. It's like, no, I'm going to double down on myself every time. <laughs> Just because David's more confident than me. I, he is I, a hiker. He's got books on trails in his office. Okay. But I got to stick with my gut. Uh, wow. 2,189. <laughs> He claps for himself every time. I got the board. I just just looked this up. How did I mess up that bad? The average through hike takes about 5.5 months with the record at 46 days. Although I think people have run faster than that. That's like the hiking speed. So 2,189 miles. We have a lead change. Um, uh, Shane is at match point right now. I mean, if we're playing best of four, best first of four, first of four, yeah, or five if we want to, or five depending on who gets to four first. <laughs> Although Brenda said ten right away after <laughs> it, after she fell behind no, early. Could, I did say that, but that's how I am with games. Once I'm having fun, I don't want to stop. All right. Yes. Okay. Question number fourteen. <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> um, about how many Americans have the last name Smith? Oh. About how many Americans? Have the last name Smith. It's, it's gonna have a. How many um, Americans are there in the uh, first place? Is, that's got I, does get it, locked uh, in. Can we have a, 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 a? Does anybody know roughly how many Americans there are? What's the pool? No. It's like three hundred something million. Right. <laughs> I, yeah. I yep. So. Oh. Sure. <laughs> oh, your late <laughs> answers in. Oh, who was first, by the way, Shane or Brenda? Me. All right, Brenda was first. Uh, All right. Uh, about how many Americans have the last name Smith? I'm going to say, oh, man. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm working my way up to a half point there. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, uh, Brenda. I said 3 million. Okay. I said 1.1 million. Oh, man, I way undershot. That. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. 150,000. 150, uh, That's four way. million. Four million. Yeah, no, I'm way undershot of this. <laughs> All right. So the question is, how many, about how many Americans have the last name Smith? Is it less than 150,000? And we all bid, overbid. Is it between 150,000 and 1.1 million? And in which case, David is the winner. Is it between 1.1 million and 3 million? In which case, I'm the winner. Is it between 3 million and 4 million? Awarding it to Brenda. Or is it more than 4 million Americans with the last name Smith? In which case, Shane gets to push the applause button for himself again. <laughs> I, I think the 1 million is the right number. It's a lot of Smiths. I once do a man with a wooden leg named Smith. Plus, there's there could be different spellings of Smith. And I think or they would all count. So I'm going to stick with 3 million. Like with Y's and yeah. E's at the end yeah. and stuff? Smith. 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 Smith with an E, yeah. It does have Smith in Smith quotes it. here. I didn't say, I didn't read the quotes. I don't mm. know if that changes your answer at all. Ch- changes it. All right. No. no. 2.5 million. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Give me the applause button, Shane. You never... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, fine. Uh, Dang. Um, here, here you go. Is that match point? Uh, that, that puts me at 3.35. Okay, so awesome. um, that is, by the way... 0.8% of the U.S. population. So almost 1%. One out of every 100 Americans is named Last Smith. Name Smith. Hmm. Well, or 80 out of every 1,000 Americans well. named Smith. Hmm. Okay. That sounded like a resigned sigh. I was in the there. right ballpark, though, because some in of the these millions? rounds I haven't been. Yeah, but You that's, were closest. That's true. I was not. I was right? completely. Yeah. You were closest. 12. All right. Okay. Um, do we need to decide if we're playing to a four or five, depending on who wins? Let's go to five. All right. Five. All right, five, five it is. Well, five it is. All right. Perfect. Dave, you're still in it. <laughs> Brenda, you're also still in it. Everyone's in it. I mean, I don't know unless, how long we're going to be here. Unless you just walk up and leave. I, I think I can just reach over and push that button that says record. Why, why would you do that? Why? <laughs> At some point, I got work to do. Okay, here we go. Uh, question number 17. <laughs> In miles, what is the record distance run by a human in 24 hours? In miles, what is the record distance run by a human in 24 hours? I feel like this is a Pastor Dan one. Yeah. I I got a guess. I got a guess. 
Fu in oh. miles. What is the record distance run by a human in 24 hours? Do you, do you remember how long the Pester Dan's Mount Hood? No, I don't. That's why I feel like he's got an advantage on this. Question. I know. You've at least got like gauge a gauge with this. Yeah, I have no. I, I, how fast is a human run? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is probably more than twelve and less than a million, if that helps. So if you're in the millions, that's <laughs> probably that's not good. Thanks. <laughs> not good. If it's single digits, not good. <laughs> no, this is too. Hard. It, it's in. It's in. No, 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 no. It's, too <laughs> it's in. If it's not triple digits, it's not going to win. All right. If answer is in. I don't know who was first. I was. Oh, we're all Brendan. Knows. Shane and I yeah. guessed the same. Give me that point one really? point. All right. 120. 125. 125. Ooh. Ooh. So we've got a 120, oh. two 125s, and I said 162. Wow. Yeah, I think it's, oh, I, it's got to be more than 125. That ah, maybe doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I this like, is like a one-time thing. This isn't like on the average, you know, ultra right. marathon yeah, or like some is, Guinness one-time. I feel freak. like this is. Yeah, I know. So I'd probably go here. The hard thing. I know people have ran for more than twenty-four hours. It's true. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's it's a, hours. I participated in a race here in um, at Lake Youngs. Lake Youngs. I was called. It was called the Pigtails Challenge, and they had everything from a fifty k to a 50 miler, to a 100K, to a 100 miler, to a 150 miler, to a 200 miler. Oh now, they, they were out there for like three or four days, though. Do they um, rest or do you? Yeah, they were. So what, what's great about that event was my wife and kids are really awesome crew people. So they come to cheer and they bring cowbells. And they're ringing their cowbells like crazy. And one organizer run over and says, like, shh, those people in the tent are sleeping. Because <laughs> they're like, doing this, <laughs> they've been out there for days. And like, I just started. And like, woo, way to go, Dan. <laughs> and some zombies licking his wounds in the tent. Aww. All right, here we go. Uh, in oh, miles, man. what is the record distance run by a human in 24 hours? 189 miles. Oh. Oh. That's an oh, average of under eight minutes per mile for 24 hours wow. straight. Eight minutes per mile Crazy. for 24 hours straight. Ba bam. <sighs> Making a comeback there. Making a comeback. Mm. Not out of it yet. So, scoring update uh, Brenda at 1.5, <laughs> David at 2, <laughs> Shane at 3.1, Dan at 4.25. Yeah, so, it's match point. 3 5. Yeah, here we go. Uh, <clears> no. Okay. All right, Shane, pink or blue? Blue. Don't, okay. don't pick a running one. All right. I won't. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I think this is something we all have a reasonable shot at. Mm. On average, how many pounds of poop does a male <laughs> African elephant produce <laughs> per day? On average, how many pounds of poop does a male African elephant <laughs> produce per day? I like produce. Oh, like, like it's a commodity. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a small amount. <laughs> On average, how many pounds of poop does a male African element elephant produce per day? I'm trying to imagine like per time, how much would that <laughs> right. way and, and multiplying then how many, it. How many, how many movements per day? Yeah. You, you have a sense of that? That's going to help? Yes, I have a sense for that. <laughs> All right. How many pounds a day? <laughs> Okay, I got first. <laughs> oh, David gets credit for first. First, I, I have a very strong memory of as a child at Point Defiance Zoo watching an elephant <laughs> relieve itself in like. <laughs> it was like this is not what I thought I came to the zoo for. <laughs> I was like five. Uh, well, it might have helped you. <laughs> okay, David, you were first in uh, for give, this. Give us two hundred forty pounds. <laughs> two hundred. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of poop. I said seventy pounds. <laughs> okay, I I thought I was high at one forty, but now oh, I feel inadequate. Eighty nine. All right. Uh, oh no. On average, how many pounds of poop does a male? African elephant produce per day. Is it less than 70? In which case we all overbid. Doesn't seem likely. Mm. <laughs> is it between 70 and 88? In which case Brenda is the cha the winner of the round. Mm -hmm. Is it between 89 and 139? That's what Shane would like it to be. be is, great. is it between 140 and 239? Which would give me all the glory. Or is it 240 plus? Or is it more than 240 pounds every single day? It's a lot. It's a, I know it's a lot. You ever seen an elephant eat? They're big. I they're think big. we're underestimating how much elephants <laughs> they're, they're like, well, how many tons? But like, I, I don't know. 
clearly we don't know it. <laughs> I was trying to. Th- I don't want to give my reasoning. Never mind. It's a church podcast. I'm thinking. But I had is, reasoning. This is rated PG 13 now. But I don't know. they eat mainly like grass, right? I've never seen them eat anything besides like straw. Yeah, but you don't pull a lot of nutrients from grass, so a lot of that grass goes just right come out. out through. Yeah. <sighs> but grass doesn't weigh very much. Yeah, so so even if they're eat eating so a lot much. of it. I don't know. A lot of water. Okay, here we Anyways, go. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, what? I'm <laughs> excited to know whether or not I'm right. This is the best question. <laughs> Shane, do you have a do you have a, a feeling here? I, I wouldn't be surprised if David just like it was like an absurd number. It we was th- all we the did animal facts. So. It was three like <laughs> the, the answer is like three hundred. Well, by the way, that's the same number I put out for the falcon. <laughs> how fast the falcon <laughs> could go? The fastest recorded bird speed is also the amount of elephant Watch poops every day. Watch it also be two forty two. <laughs> wow, three three hundred. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> Zoos often sell their abundance of elephant manure to eager local gardeners. Three hundred pounds a day. Yeah, that's so. All right, that's Man. a lot. Scoring update: uh, Brenda has third, fourth place, all to herself at one point five. We'll call it third place. I guess fourth. So I don't know. Tied uh, at second place. Shane and David both have three point one. Mm-hmm. And I'm Ooh. I'm still holding on to my narrow lead at four point three five. <laughs> I that memory really hit me as a child watching this elephant. I was like, that was a shocking amount. <laughs> if it does that like one it, more time a day, we're easily in the two hundreds. <laughs> so <laughs> that was like <laughs> that memory <laughs> was just for this moment. You, you Your remember? father's like, don't look away, son. Like, it was so like, if you've ever seen be. Inside Out have like they have core memories, this is unfortunately <laughs> one of mine. What if you have three core memories? <laughs> what if you're three? <laughs> 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 Every night. <laughs> okay, Brenda, pink or blue? Uh, blue. Okay. <laughs> this is, that was amazing. All right. Since their 1917 debut, how many different types of Girl Scout cookies have been sold? Since their 1917 debut, how many different types of Girl Scout cookies have been sold? 1917. Mm-hmm. Se- 17. 1917. So they began... Child labor in 1917, <laughs> and since then, how many different that types sucks. of Girl Scout cookies have they peddled on America's doorposts, uh, and are probably around the world? I don't know. Where's my thing? 140. I already saw David's hand, and I'm like, my, oh, God. My <laughs> nun- the source. We're, we're yep. completely. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be one of those. <laughs> oh, uh, no. All right. On, since 1917... That's the debut. How many different types of Girl Scout cookies have been sold? I was being so cautious on not to go over. All right. That's so that's a good strategy. I said Brenda? 13. 13. That seems <laughs> low. I think they sell 13 now. <laughs> I think they sell over 13. <laughs> seems Whatever. conservative. All right. That's okay. David, what do you have? 75. 75. Shane? Uh, 52. 52. I said 45. That's slim margins. Brenda I, might have oh. the... I had 50 at first, switched it up last <laughs> second. I, I felt like 50 was I, too low. I really didn't want to go. I, actually, I, think, I like Brenda for this one. I, I think David's got it again. With more than 75? It's, I, I bet it's going to be like 300 again. Like I feel like they would stick to the classics. Like These like, are the good ones, and they're not going to make over 100 different kinds. Like They know which ones. Like Thin Mints have been around. How many can we name? Thin time. Mints? Thin Mints. Samoas. Samoas. Dosi Dos. Never heard of it. What are the ones with the peanut butter? butter. Samones? The peanut butter no. one. The peanut butter tag one. Tagalongs. Tagalongs. Oh, tag is that is coconut? That What's the coconut one? Those are the good ones. But I think those are the Samoas. But we're talking about like from 1917. There's, so a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a s'mores, isn't there? There is a s'mores one. There's like a brownie-ish one. So like we're, we're at like eight, though. Oh, the lemon. Got oh, nine. The lemon. That, by the way, it can't be called lemon. All right, here we go. I, I haven't gotten a single name right. I, <laughs> I just said the peanut butter one, the lemon. s'mores one, the <laughs> lemon. That would ever sell. Correct just, answer, 60. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Crowd's going nuts. The crowd goes wild. Uh, Thin Mints selling 50 million boxes per year account for 25% of all sales. So, uh, Shane, uh, well done. Here we go. Thank you. This, Thank you. Uh, we are, we're at match point again. An- another uh, match Brenda point. Brenda at 1.6. <laughs> David at 
point one, Dan at four point three five, and sh- uh, uh, and reverse that. Shane at four point one. Brenda's really bringing it in with those points. The point one. <laughs> I've hey, got to get them somehow. <laughs> if I'm not sure I, it's paying off. The speed <laughs> might not be. Just looking at the board here for a second. Um, the fastest one has been correct the least. But you've got a lot of markings on uh-huh. the on uh-huh. the column. <laughs> there, that that the, it, that's a game unto itself. It is a game unto itself. Okay, David Pinkerblue. Pink. Okay. How many cups of coffee does the average Dunkin' Donuts coffee expert taste per day? I'll read that again. So we have there are apparently <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts employees coffee experts, and the question is. How many cups of coffee does the average Dunkin' Donuts coffee expert taste per day? What a terrible job. Anyone got a core memory That's, of this? Is this like one of those positions where it's like, you're going to get a taste tester kind of thing? Wait, right? That, that's what it says. I, I'm thinking that this is just like a person who works at the store and they're called the coffee expert, but they got to like. Like the genius bar at an Apple yeah, store? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I, it's a I title. think it's behind the scenes. Read, read, read this. I'll read, read it, it again, again, but my, my read on it is these are like people who are developing new bean flavors in the back. That's my, like, there's like 10 of them in the world. Like All they do is drink coffee yeah. all day long. They taste it. They die at 39 years old. Yeah. But all right. <laughs> How many cups of coffee does the average Dunkin' Donuts coffee expert Taste per day. God, that wait, it's worded weird. So it's too. not I'm saying how to, many are they drinking. It's how many are they taste. How many cups of so, coffee does the average Dunkin' Donuts coffee expert? And by the way, is, I'm not sure any clarity is going to help us is, on our guessing. Wait, is this like at all? Is this um like the metric yeah. cups or like they like a literal sure. cup? Like so it's, it's asking how many they're tasting. Okay, so not like the 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 like literal cup. <laughs> like I don't think it's asking how much they're consuming. Okay, it's how the, many different cups are they tasting? Is my read on it. So, oh, man, okay. How many? How right, many cups let me, let me, can? Yeah, I was gonna does, say. Does how, one need to taste a day? And are they coming up with new? Are they coming up with a thousand new flavors every single I don't day? Know, is it like roasting? I. All right. I'm, if it's their one job, like to, I just can't imagine. <laughs> They've got to do other stuff again, besides that. But. I think it's like the Genius Bar. I think that they're mm-hmm. called the expert, <laughs> and I'm not like. It's, I'm just saying, I think it's a person who works at Dunkin' Donuts like a barista. Hold on. And this is their title. And it's dying. I don't know. Uh, okay. So, um, are you, are you put yours in yet, Jane? Brandon, no, we first. I have to switch no, out. David oh, David first. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to reveal our answers here. How many cups of coffee does the average Dunkin' Donuts coffee expert taste per day? I'm, whatever the answer is, I'm flabbergasted that Dunkin' Donuts or any company can employ people whose full-time job is to taste new coffee flavors. I'm not surprised. Have you heard of, like, ice cream, professional ice cream tasters? Yes. I have. So, I mean, like, but, yeah, but there's how? more flavors to be created with ice cream, I think, than with coffee. And even still, you go to the grocery store, there aren't a billion flavors. I wouldn't be surprised. There's, like, 40. Dun- Dunkin' Coffee is, like, super processed. They put, like... It's quality control. All right. Like, yeah. it, there's so... Let's, so let's flip it over. Uh, David, first in? 50. 50. 25. 25. 47 One, and 105. 105. 100 if, can if you name their, 105 different coffee no, flavors? No, but if it's their full-time <laughs> job, like, to taste coffee, like, in an eight-hour day, yeah, just... They are. <laughs> mm, yes. Have okay. You, have you seen the Briars one with the... Yes, yes. The ice yeah, cream yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Gotta get the roof of the mouth, yeah. flip the spoon around. <laughs> it's very Squirrel strange. Sounds. Well, we know what we're talking about. All right. So, <laughs> um, uh, so the question is, how many cup? They're like, we know the question. What are the so uh, somewhere between twenty five and one hundred and five is what we came up with, um, and the correct answer for the marbles two hundred. Okay. <laughs> Shane takes it away. Wow. On he started fast. He finished strong. Shane, for Ooh. your uh, uh, let me read Fed in fact by the the first Dunkin' Donuts opened in Massachusetts in 1948 and is still open. I want to know more about the coffee tasters. Yeah, uh, Shane, you get this uh, jar of <laughs> candy cane. I can I would I want the mule sauce. You can have the mule sauce. I'll put it back C- anyway. Congratulations. Um, wow, what a, what a question to go out on. I like to thank my uh, parents and wife, okay. Lauren. 
<laughs> Lutheran <laughs> education. Yeah, Lutheran education. <laughs> yeah, the only one of us who went to like a Lutheran uh, elementary school here. Well, at, clearly, it's worth it's worth the cost. <laughs> it's worth the cost. That's well, uh, that's my takeaway from well, here. I'm, I'm much more sheltered than you think. I've only been to Lutheran schools. Well, <laughs> you, you let me <laughs> add your final point here. <laughs> my final there. point. So Shane, this is this is yours to keep. Congratulations. We can hang it up on the wall if you want. It's um, pretty. It's really un- indecipherable. I had several different scoring strategies, as you can see. <laughs> uh, Brenda, final thoughts on Wits and Wagers uh, it's Radio not, Edition? It's not my game, it's but it is fun to play. Well, yeah. it, the game the game itself would be completely different too because. Yeah. The, the your guess is only a fraction of the points you yeah. get. So like putting your your bets on people's yeah. That's what I was thinking. You do get points. Oh, yeah, we we played this way. played this yeah. at your yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. real game, you can never get one right and still clean up. Yeah. yeah. You can still win. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It all comes down to the last round anyway. All in. So I think the mm-hmm. closest cur- to the correct answer was David's bird speed. 240. Yeah. You were only 2 2, two miles two, per hour off. Yeah. That is crazy that you got that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, uh, f- uh, listeners, viewers, thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun. Uh, we are not sponsored by Wits and Wagers, the board game, but we do have fun playing it. We recommend it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fun one. And what we did today is is kind of a, an, you know, uh, an adaptation of the game. So if you play the real game, you're going to be like, I don't think they were playing it right. <laughs> we weren't playing it right. We were just having fun. Yeah. So uh, Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Hallelujah. Have a great day. And we'll see you soon with um, some more shenanigans and maybe some real content as well. That's the end of the episode. But we want to continue the conversation. Continue the conversation by sharing this episode, subscribing, or leaving a review. Connect with us on Instagram at 2414podcast. Connect with us through email at 2414 at stlukes-church.com. Or best of all, keep the conversation going by inviting someone to process with you so that you can each walk away with more understanding that leads to more conversation as the journey continues. If you happen to be in the Seattle-Tacoma area of Washington, stop by on a Sunday morning and say hi. 2414 is a podcast produced by St. Luke's Lutheran Church in Federal Way, Washington. To find more content, discover upcoming opportunities to connect in person, or to support the show, head on over to stlukes-church.com. Thanks for walking with us.